Hello guys, um, shout out to my friend Imarifil Naranjo who invited her 10 of her friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel and that is with proof of subscription. And you guys out there, uh, do not forget to subscribe for more updates and also click the notification bell for more videos coming your way. Keep safe, everyone. Okay, hello guys. Um, we are now in the fourth part of our video lessons on the graphs of quadratic function. Um, but before we are going to discuss our... Uh, New lesson, let us first recall our previous discussions in part 1, part 2, and part 3 of our video lessons. Now, in the first part of our video lesson, we have discussed the graphs of quadratic function in this form, ax squared, where a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0. a here uh, shows the opening of the parabola so if a is positive the parabola opens upward if a is negative the parabola opens downward now aside from the opening of the graph a also determines the size of the parabola if the parabola opens wider or the parabola opens narrower now, if A becomes bigger, the parabola becomes narrower. And if A becomes smaller, the parabola becomes wider. Okay. Now, in part two of our discussion, we have here the value of K. Now, the value of K determines the movement of the parabola um going to or the movement either upward or downward upward if k is what do you think upward if k is positive downward if k is negative now in the third part of our video lesson we have here the square of the difference of x and h multiplied by a no now, h here determines the movement or the translation of the parabola either going to the right or going to the left. So, the parabola goes to the right, h unit to the right, if h is positive. And it goes h unit to the left if h is negative. Okay. So this time, we are going to discuss the graphs of quadratic function in this form. A is multiplied by the square of the difference of x and h plus k, where a is greater than 0 or a is less than 0. Okay. Now, I know after our discussion, you will learn how to uh, determine the vertex of the quadratic function. And you will also... Uh, develop the skill in describing the behavior of the, the graphs of quadratic function in this form. No? Okay, so let's get started. So let's look at our first example. So the function is equal to the square of the difference of x and 1 plus 2. No? Then what do you think is the value of a? Okay, look at here. A is equal to, you are correct, positive 1. This is understood to have a positive 1 coefficient. Okay, how about H? Okay, H. Now, this formula can be written as the square of the difference of X and positive 1. So, therefore, your H, okay, your H is... You are again correct. It's positive 1. How about the k? So we have here k. k is equal to 2. 
And our vertex now has the coordinates one, positive 1 and positive 2. So let's look at the graph. The graph opens upward. Okay. Now let's look at um, how our graph will behave with this value of h which is equal to positive 1. Okay, what do you think? h, uh, the graph will move one unit where? To the right, to the left, up, or down. Okay, let's look at here. You're correct. It's one unit to the right. Okay. How about the value of k. The value of k is positive 2. And k determines the movement of the graph either going up or going down. So what do you think? So your k is positive 2. So therefore, your graph, will, your parabola will go, will go up um, 2 units above the x-axis. Okay, so your parabola or the graph of this function is this one, no? Okay, with this vertex, positive 1 and positive 2. So, let's proceed to example number 2. So, in example number 2, we have here the value of A is equal to positive 2. And H, again, how are we going to write this? Okay, we can write that function as the square of the difference of x and negative 2 plus 3. So what is now the value of our h? Okay, it's negative 2. How about the value of k? So the value of k is positive 3 with our vertex now with coordinates negative 2 and positive 3. Let's look at its graph. Okay. So let's, uh, what have you observed with the graph of this uh, second uh, function compared to that of the first example that we had earlier? Okay, let's compare. Okay, look at the graph. Okay, this one is wider and this one is narrower. Now, it, it's A is positive 2 here. The A is positive 1. Okay. Positive 2 is bigger than positive 1. So the graph is narrower. The opening of the graph is narrower. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. The value of H is negative 2. So therefore, our parabola moves negative, uh, move 2 units to the left of the Y axis. Okay, for k, k is positive 3. Therefore, the parabola uh, moves 3 units above the um, x-axis. Okay, that's it. So, let's proceed to example number 3. So, we have here the function is equal to the neg uh, negative 1 half multiplied by the square of the difference of x and 2 minus 2. So, what is now the value of your a? Okay, correct. So, your a is equal to negative 1. How about your h? h is positive 3 and your k is negative 2. Now, we have uh, the vertex with coordinates positive 3 and negative 2. Let's look at the graph. Okay. Now the graph opens downward. Why is it so? Okay. It opens downward because A is negative. Okay. Now let us compare the size of or the opening of the parabola compared to that of problem number 2 and problem number 3. Okay, so the parabola is wider, no? Because our A here is one half. Besides negative, that means opens downward. Okay, so it's wider compared to the two uh, parabolas. 
Okay, let's continue. H is positive 3. So therefore, our parabola moves 3 units to the right. And how about K? K is negative 2. So therefore, our parabola moves 2 units. Okay, downward. Okay. Or 2 units below the x-axis. This is actually the x-axis and the y-axis, which I forgot to write x here and forgot to write y here. Okay, I'll be careful next time to write x uh, here and y. Okay, so, so those are the three examples of our uh, parabola, I mean quadratic function. Okay, now let's have a self-check. You comment down your um. Do not forget to comment down your answers of the the following items. Number one, which variable of the quadratic function determines the size of the graph? Number two, which variable of the quadratic function makes two or more graphs become identical? Number three, which variable of the quadratic function determines the opening of the graph? Either, either upward or downward. 4. If h is equal to negative 4, then it tells us what? 5. If k is equal to 5, then it tells us what? Okay, for number 6, which of the following describes the graph of the function which is equal to uh, negative 3 multiplied by the square of the sum of x and 2 minus 7? A. The graph opens downward. The graph has a vertex with coordinates negative 2 and negative 7. The graph is translated from the origin to 2 units to the left and 7 units downward. B, the graph opens upward and it has a vertex with coordinates negative 2 and negative 7. And it is translated from the origin 2 units to the left and 7 units downward. Or letter C, the graph opens downward with vertex at the point with coordinates positive 2 and negative 7 and is translated from the origin 2 units to the right and 3 units downward. Number 7. Which of the following graphs represent the function which is equal to the square of the difference of x and 4? multiplied by 2 minus 5. We have here the um, graphs for letter A, B, and C. For the last number, which of the following graphs represent the function defined by negative 1 over 8 multiplied by the square of the sum of x and 3 plus okay guys thank you for watching my video and do not forget to subscribe for more updates and also do not forget to click the notification bell for more videos coming your way thank you and keep safe everyone